Left over here, we have individuals who are religious fun fundamentalists, religious fanatics, and this is the expression, uh, RT-PCR, real-time PCR uh, expression of the VMAT2 gene. Over here, Dr. we have I'll individuals. In theory, so, so, right? so let, let me complete. So, over here, we have uh, individuals who are not particularly uh, fundamentalists, not particularly religious, and you can see there's a, a much reduced. Uh, expression of, of this particular gene, the, the VMAT2 uh, gene. Uh, another evidence that, that supports our, our hypothesis for the development of, of, of this um, approach. Uh, so what you're you, what you see here is by, by, by spreading this virus, we're going to eliminate individuals from donning on a bomb vest and going into a market and blowing up the market. So our, our hypothesis is that these are fanatical people, uh, that they have overexpression of the VMAT2 gene and that by vaccinating them against this will eliminate this behavior. Uh, so we have some, some very, very uh, remarkable data in this next slide. Uh, here we have two uh, brain scans. These are fMRIs. Uh, these are two different individuals with different levels of expression of VMAT2. Uh, on top uh, is an individual who's a religious fanatic an individual, and we've repeated this numerous times, that, that uh, has uh, high levels of EMAT2. Now, um, this individual down here who had low levels of the VMAT2 gene, this individual would uh, self-describe as, as, as not particularly religious. In, in each case, uh, these individuals were, were read a religious text. Uh, this individual uh, light lit up um, the, the right middle frontal gyrus uh, shown here, and uh, that's a part of the brain that's associated with theory of mind. Uh, it's a part of the brain that, that uh, has to do with intents and, and beliefs and, and desires. Uh, in contrast, in marked contrast, here's an individual who would uh, not particularly uh, self-describe as, as religious, and when they're read a religious text, <clears throat> what you see is that this part of the brain called the anterior insula lights up. This is a part of the brain that's associated with, with disgust or displeasure on hearing something. Uh, so you're suggesting I take a CT scan with me when I'm uh, evaluating people to determine whether I put a bullet in their head? So, so um, the, the data that I'm presenting here uh, supports uh, the, the concept that, that we're proposing. Uh, and I think that uh, we would not propose to do uh, CT scans or fMRIs on, on individuals out in the hinterlands of, of Afghanistan. The virus would immunize against this VMAT2 gene, and that would, would have the effect that you see here, which is it's essentially to turn a fanatic into a, a, a normal person. And we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. How would you suggest that this is going to be dispersed with aerosol? Well, so, so the, the present uh, plan and the tests that we've done so far um, have used uh, uh, respiratory viruses uh, such as flu or, or uh, rhinoviruses, and uh, we believe that that's a satisfactory way to get the exposure of the largest uh, part of the population. Most of us, of course, have, ha have been exposed to both of those viruses, and, and we're, we're quite confident that, that this will be a, a, a very successful uh, approach. This is fascinating. What's the name of this proposal? Yeah, so, so the name of this project is FunVax, which is the vaccine for religious fundamentalism. And you have a proposal already? The proposal uh, has just been submitted, and I think that the data that I have shown you today would, would support uh, the, the development of, of this project, and we think it has great promise.